Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you who are just joining us, we are building liquid layer meshes in Real Flow, and we have just finished building our meshes, and we're going to bring them over to Cinema right now. Uh, the original five that we cut the whole lot of is deleted, and I'm going to go to Plugins, Real Flow, Real Flow Mesh Importer, and click on the Setup tab, and go to the File Path, and we're going to go find our dot .bin uh, mesh file. So you go into your RealFlow tutorial folder and grab meshes. And this works uh, a lot like you would bring in an image sequence uh, into After Effects. All you have to do is find the very first in the sequence, click on it, open it, and the uh, Cinema 4D will automatically propagate the rest of those files. So you can see we got all 200 frames in there. And if we click forward and play, you can see that our mesh is is now in cinema so let's uh let's do a quick little bit of lighting and setting up a scene but besides that that's how you create uh, particle meshes in real flow so the first thing i'll do is i'll make a new material um give it a little bit of a blue color you know this is all kind of up to your taste um i'm going to turn on reflection uh, and for now, transparency, uh, I'm going to bring my brightness down to maybe 80%. I'm going to boost my refraction to uh, 1.33, so you get that kind of nice clear um, look to it. Uh, texture, I'll leave the texture alone. My absorption color, I'll just do a re real light blue tinge. Um, and let me see if we're going to need a bump. I'll put it on there and see what it looks like. Uh, but first, let's get some lighting in there. I'll just go to my content browser. I have this lighting setup that comes with 11.5 that I really like. Where's my content browser? Um, let's see your presets. Cinema 4D, lighting setups, three-point light stage. I'll throw that in there. Um, and... You can see what that looks like. Looks like we still need to do some some changing to our material itself. Um, let me go and quickly make a little background. I'll go to the right view. I'll grab the Bezier and just make a bit of a stage. Ooh, no, 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 no. There we go, like that. And then we'll do a sweep nerves, or sorry, a, uh, we'll just extrude nerves. This will make the spline a child of the extrude nerves, and we will just, oops, increase this. So now, if we go back to perspective, bring my x value and just move it like that. So let's take a look at this material and why it's not looking like much water. Oh, I guess uh, when you when you put a background behind things, uh, a lot of stuff changes. So there's a good example of creating a little bit of a little bit of water in R Real Flow in Cinema 4D. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, check my, check me out uh, next week. We're going to be doing a really awesome tutorial uh, on modeling in Cinema 4D. And let me check my render over there. You can kind of see a quick preview of we're going to be taking the Microsoft logo and doing some real cool stuff with it. So stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.